Hello, today I want to talk about the biggest wound that a lot of people have, the biggest issue that a lot of people have, which we have a unique opportunity to heal right now because of astrological conditions. We also have a unique ideal uh, um, opportunity to be re-wounded by this if we don't deal with it. And that wound is the wound of feeling worthless, feeling not good enough. With my clients, um, one theme that comes up all the time is people saying that they feel that they are not good enough. Now, astrologically right now, Chiron, which represents the wounded healer, and you can look up Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. Um, I'm not going to go into the full meaning of Chiron right now, but suffice to, to say that it's about where you have a wound. And so you have the Chiron in your birth chart, where you were born, where it was when you were born. And then you have transiting Chiron. And right now, Chiron is transiting Aries. Aries is about the self. Aries is the first sign. So it can represent the buds of spring. It's like that sprouting, emerging energy that happens. Um when winter turns to spring things start growing there's an explosion of life and growth so that's kind of the aries energy it's also warrior energy um childlike wonder energy all kinds of stuff but the thing is when chiron is going through aries or if it was in aries when you were born there is a certain wound around the self, around, am I good enough? Am I worthy or worth less? Um, and that is a very painful thing for many of us. The idea that I just might not be good enough. So when we have Chiron transiting Aries, we have an opportunity to either be re-traumatized by this thought of not being good enough, or to dig in and heal it. So let's say, like most people, that you have had feelings of unworthiness. We all have certain feelings of unworthiness. I've worked with people that are fabulously wealthy or famous or successful in their fields, and I've seen deep down that many of them have these same feelings as anybody else who could objectively be seen to be more of a failure than them, than these successful people. But deep down, there is this feeling of what if I'm just not good enough? Well, what if you are not good enough? Number one, what would good enough be? What is good enough? And number two, if you got there, if you made that achievement, are you 100% sure that you would internalize it and forever feel worthy? And the answer to that is no. There is no achievement that will conquer this feeling of not being good enough, of being unworthy. So try to get that out of your head right away. You are not going to achieve some magical thing that stops all feelings of unworthiness. 
So we need to disconnect the feeling of unworthiness from achievement to some degree. Now that doesn't mean that it can't be slightly helpful to use a little bit of insecurity as a motivating factor to kick your butt to achieve something. There's a place for that. It's just when it becomes this toxic thing of never feeling good enough that it becomes a problem. So how do we utilize this Chiron energy in order to heal this wound of unworthiness of not feeling good enough? Well, like every energy that I help my clients heal, every emotion, the number one thing is that you need to feel the unworthiness as a physical sensation in your body. So you need to feel what it feels like physically to have your unworthy feelings. Most of the time, what happens with emotional issues is that we are caught up in the brain, our suffering is experienced in the brain, and meanwhile all these feelings are going on deep down that we're not really paying a lot of attention to. So what we need to do first is feel the actual sensation of our unworthiness. So let's imagine it's a heaviness in the heart. For you it might be a tightness in the throat. It might be in the stomach. It could be anywhere in the body. Okay, but Let's just pretend right now that for everybody, it's a tightness in the heart. Okay. So when I feel unworthy, my, my chest feels tight. My heart feels tight. It's like there's a weight, there's a pressure, there's a tension. First thing I need to do is surrender to that feeling and let it be there. Now, I go over this with all the emotions we're clearing, but it's still important to go through it and to resist the temptation of the mind to say, yeah, I get it, I get it. You don't get it. It cannot be gotten on that level. If you have the emotion, you need to do the emotional work. I understand the brain is faster than the emotional processing. The brain can get it. That doesn't mean that you've had the shift energetically. So feel the tightness, let it be there. Number two, make it tighter, make it heavier. And keep making it tighter and making it heavier. and breathe, and still let it be there. And now imagine you as a child feeling unworthy. Just get any image. It doesn't have to be biographically correct. You could imagine yourself for example, making a mistake in some game, in some sport you're playing as a kid, and everybody's yelling at you because you struck out or whatever, you didn't catch the ball, or and you felt like a loser. I know that one. <laughs> um, and so, get some some morning sunlight coming in the window. Um, so imagine you as that kid. 
and then imagine you as you hugging that kid, reassuring that kid. Almost like transmitting the feeling to that kid that this really isn't a problem, but but I give you the space to feel the feeling. I'm not trying to shut you down or shut you up about this issue. And so the thing with unworthiness is that with a lot of emotions, as we reject the emotion and we try to run away from it, it, it goes into hiding and it met metastasizes. It becomes worse and worse and worse. It becomes this monster in the cave of our psyche that we don't dare approach. So you want to approach that monster. You want to approach the inner child who felt rejected and unworthy. And you want to give that inner child love. And you don't really want to talk the kid out of their pain. You want to love them while they're in the pain. Love them and the pain together. The thing is, when we feel these horrible feelings like, I'm not good enough, We try to do anything we can to stop feeling it. And the secret to healing is that when you try to stop feeling something, you're rejecting the part of you that feels it, and you're actually intensifying the feeling. You're pushing it underground into the subconscious to go in and metastasize and emerge even stronger later. So what you want to do instead of that is go after these feelings and embrace them and embrace the inner child, the inner you that had these feelings in the beginning. And now with Chiron in Aries, currently going retrograde, it's an amazing opportunity to do that. You can feel your wounded inner child more than you normally would be able to. And you can love that child and give that inner child healing. And that healing will ripple back to you right now. And this is not a one and done kind of thing. Okay, you might do it once and, and have amazing results, and you might have to do it daily for a while. So try to work with the energy of Chiron and Aries now, and kind of let your inner child come back to you with its tears and its insecurities. And you be that ideal parent to that inner child. You allow that inner child to feel unworthy and not good enough. But you hold the space for it to evolve out of that. And as your inner child evolves out of the unworthiness, so will you. So that's how you can use this energy of Chiron in Aries right now. I urge you to try it and leave a comment and let me know how it worked for you. And if I get a bunch of follow-up questions, I might make a follow-up video and we can go deeper into this subject. Thanks so much for watching.